data types in MATLAB. There are many different data types in MATLAB in which you can utilize for various reasons. By default, all numbers are stored in MATLAB as floating point decimals. A floating point decimal can best be described as scientific notation, where a significant number of digits are multiplied by a base a certain number of times. Unlike normal scientific no notation, however, where the base is 10, MATLAB uses a base of 2. If you are working with repeating decimals or, ir or irrational numbers such as pi or i, MATLAB will only store a rounded value of these numbers by truncating the number of decimals to 16 places. You can see the actual value stored in MATLAB of these irrational numbers by typing in format long and then re-entering pi and i. As you can see, the numbers are only, con only contain 16 decimal places. You can return, return to the original format by typing format short. See, we have returned to the original format. There are two types of integers and or two different types of integers in MATLAB, unsigned integers and signed integers. All integers are stored in a pre-allowed number of bits. When working with 8-bit integers, you have 256 different values. That's 2 to the 8. When working in 64-bit integers, you have 2 to the 64th different values. Unsigned integers do not store negative values. If we use the function uint8, uint8, we can convert to 8-bit integers, unsigned 8-bit integers. Since unsigned integers do not contain negative values, the range for uint8 integers is from 0 to 255, with 0 being the first number. Any number larger than 255 will be rounded to 255. Any, any number smaller than 0 will be rounded to 0. Since we are working with integers, any numbers containing decimal places will be rounded to the nearest integer. So, as you can see, the same rounding rules apply for 64-bit integers, except you are working with a larger amount of allowed values. The int function will convert to signed integers. Signed integers store both negative and positive values. If we are working in 8-bit signed integers, our range changes from negative 128 to positive 127, still containing 256 different values. Just as before, rounding occurs. If any number greater than 127 will be rounded down to 127. Any number smaller than negative 128 will be rounded to negative 128. Any number containing decimal places will be rounded to the nearest integer. The same rounding rules apply for 64-bit signed integers. MATLAB always displays a logical true with 1 and a logical false with 0. You can use the help function to see the different relational operators that MATLAB provides you when you need to compare two numbers. The outputs of these operators will be logical true 1 or logical false 0. So let's see how this works. If we were to say 2 is equal to 2, we get a logical true of 1, if we were to say 4 is equal to 3, logical false, or 0. 
the same rules apply to the other logical operators. Six is less than seven. Logical false. Utilizing these relational relational operators and the fact that they give out ones or zeros as their output will come in handy when creating your own functions and scripts and needed to compare numbers within those functions or scripts. The last data type we'll be talking about is strings or character arrays. You can create these to, via two methods, the first of which is utilizing the single parentheses operators. If we were to say have a single open parentheses followed by any type of text and then we close that we display the text itself you can, you can assign these strings to variables as you would normal values thus we have saved the word hello within the queue variable as you can see in the workspace you can also use the char function char. The char function converts an array of non-negative integers into its corresponding characters. The American Standard Code for Information Interchange gives the values to which to the values that correspond to specific characters. So if we were to say char of 65, we capital letter A. CHAR of 77, we would get a capital letter M. There's an entire table that gives the values and their corresponding characters.